Hello everyone, there is Tina here, and when we're to just another episode of Skyrim. What's your uh, problem? I'm doing my intro, man, that's what my problem is, right, anyway. So yes, um, basically we're back in Skyrim, now. Yes, we basically, we, uh, did that quest of Maeve and Blackbriar, and also, uh... So I'd say, all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I mean... Smithing's going up decently. I think my Ebony Bow Plan's gonna work. It's enchanting. Yeah, eighty percent stronger. When I get that, and then a black soldier, it's gonna be OP. It's, it's gonna be OP as crazy. Hmm. Well, I'm spoiled for I'm spoiled for choice actually. That might not actually be worth I guess. Anyway, that, enough of that. Let's uh, head. Let's head. Let's head off. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help. Yeah, that's fascinating, my man. Right. I don't know what my bloody soldier situation's even bloody like. I keep forgetting. <laughs> So yeah, I'm basically um I'm gonna try and like make uh, even out like this. I'm gonna even out Roblox videos and uh, other game videos. So I'm trying. I'm gonna evenly spread it out as much as I can. Because I'm gonna try and make, return to making Roblox videos regularly, or at least try to anyway. Anyway, let's head back to the Fuse Guild. What's my hatchet situation like? Oh, well, great. I mean, what am I going to sell? Oh yeah, I wanted to... I think I've already got that though, haven't I? No, I don't know, I'll see about that when I have back Dragon Trees. But like I said, like I said, the, well, the V's Guild is good, like the real money is where... is real money is the Dark, is the dark yeah, Brotherhood. I I oh, nothing, man, alright. Uh, like I said, the real money is where the... um. Beef grass. You know, I'll take you along. Oh, so no, God, I thought that was a. Well, like I said, like the real money is the dark. Where the where the actual money is, that's it's the dark brotherhood. Like a lot, lot of money's been made there. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn found himself in. The yeah, truly heartbreaking stuff. Am I right? Fortunate for it. Yeah, very fortunate for Maven. Exactly. Now you're beginning hmm. to see how a little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Yes, the symbol. The sim the symbol, yes. The same symbol from Golden Globe was involved. And this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sampjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Is there anything we can do? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. Alright, sir. If I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry. Oh wonderful, right. Most of bloody fray. Well, hello. Right, assuming I open those, I'll get a bounty, right? Not a bounty, but they won't like it, so I won't do that, right? Let's do talk to discount Nick Valentine, Mercer bloody fray. Hey, Mercer. Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I found the same marking at Hunting Broom Meadery. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very hmm. clever. Clever or not, they need to die. Don't dismiss our adversary so easily. They're well funded, patient, and have been able to avoid identification for years. Hmm. However, don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. How can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. Oh, that's the guy in solitude, I think. Sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Where do I begin? Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. 
I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, right. and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Alrighty then. Do you speak to Brynjolf? I uh, might as well. Hey, Brynjolf. I can't believe Gullamai's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong. He could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Think he'll give me trouble? Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. So I to talk. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, huh. he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. No, that's not how the guilds work. No, um, he's going to owe us for this betray right. betrayal. He does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, he hmm. make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. Right, okay then. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Alright, let's go then. Good luck in solitude. Keep Golomai alive. Hmm. But remind him. Right, let's go. Got it on the off right. Uh, what's my goal situation like anyway? I, st I can't get rid of that. It's bloody irritating. So, what's the soul gem like anyway? Alright, let's go then. I should might buy some dwarven ingots, depending on the situation. Let's see if Bannerman has any. Balamond. Come to see what do you got for sale? The finest weapons and armor. You do, but only one. That's irritating. Return any time. You're quite welcome. Can I use this man? Thank you, right. Here we go. Please. I don't have anything to What brings you to battle? Hmm. Blades, helmets. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. There we go. Return any time. You're quite welcome here. Wait, what is it? Please. Please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that so bad? Here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Until next time. Alrighty then. Visiting Riften? All are welcome at the Temple of Mara. Pleased to meet you. I'm a priestess at the Temple of Mara. Righty then. Oh my god, I have so much to do. Oh, this is so much. It's too it's too much. Okay, right. Um, might, as well keep, might as well keep doing this. Please go quest line. Let's head over here. Oh, I'm having a good time as well. I can check the blacksmith. Good. Oh, there's one I'm going to... Oh, that's freaking Jari Ra. Good lord, that guy. That bloody bastard, honestly. Spoilers sort of. That guy is a backstabbing piece of trash. Mm. No. Oh, my, archery, my archery's actually at past 50, so Findor won't actually be able to help me anymore. Damn. Right, um, Seems what do you want to sell? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? 
Oh, you do. Oh, that's very nice. Very good. Return any time you need arms or armor. My form never. There we go. What do you want to Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. And I virtually get my money back, which is pretty good, right? Oh, what is scared armor? Hmm. hmm. Keep safe and always wear your armor. Man, let's go talk to this blasted Argonian guy. Oh, hello, man. You're passing through solitude. Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold. Yes. Yeah, this guy's a backstabber. What did you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us are very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister DJ and I are treasure. I mean that bitch down at the um Tarba. I'm listening. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. Hmm. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. So you always present the lighthouse fire? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yeah. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks after This guy told you to betray I could betray you. Direct them to that loot. Okay, right. It would be best if we spoke little until we've got No, I might actually do that immediately after this to be honest. I need because I need to get some of these crests out of the way because I don't want them piling up because I already have so much. Hello. So what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, hmm. I'd say you were from the guild, but that can't. Well, I'm wearing the our uniform, so it shouldn't be that hard to pick it out. Deal with them anymore. I'm here. I go and go stay. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. You can drop the act now, Gold Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? You acted as a breaker for its new owner. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. What would it take to identify the buyer? Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. It just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Alright. Come to this guy. Solitude. Wait, hear my huh. plea. My master, oh, this is a danger quest. I want to do this. Why does everyone ignore me? Why do you turn your heads? Why will no one help me? What do you need? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Uh, how can I find you, Master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as the Yarl. No, no, such people know him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Right, okay, uh... Mm. 
You know, I might as well do big for those. That's because he had his head chopped off. Hey, wanna play Ted? Uh, no, I'm a. Come on, my finger right now, right? Uh. Building for the Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. All right, sure. All right, let's head in here. Are you my gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life? Unfortunately, no. I need to get into the plagiar swing. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Fuck off me chicken out. Well, I suppose oh, that was that easy. Case, it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Oh, beautiful beautiful hex is here. Alright, um Right. I'll take the wine I'll oh, take the wine and then I'll uh Oh, now the wine that I had in there. Someday a gallant hero will ride up and take me away. Unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Now then, spoiler alert. There's a unique quest in here. A very even unique quest. Off to oblivion. Yeah, it's a danger quest, and uh, oh. Oh. oh, yes. Goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, oh, shakers. Why, my my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Yeah, except for that one. But he turned into a dragon god. And that's hard to support. You know, I was there for that whole sorted affair. Marvelous time. Butterflies, mm. blood, Spoiling up the living crisis. Head. Oh, oh, oh. And the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes. Hey. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Uh, wait, where are we? Inside the mind of Pelagius City. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought this. Oh, I thought this was. I thought this was Oblivion. Uh, I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. Written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got. Yeah, this hurt. guy's batshit insane. Actually, I do. Little joke, but seriously, what's the message? Um, I think I made a mistake coming here. Yeah, that's the case, right? I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. Where you now? By who? Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Oh, huh. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Fair as like ball. No, it was you. Ah, or was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking great. I love the lore and I just love the lore and little mentions. It's really good. I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Hmm. No matter. Honest, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more mm. to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think? Yeah, he hasn't. You he hasn't been. He hasn't been playing the fool. Shagarth really is completely insane. He's dangerous, right? He's like the most dangerous danger prince. Because that's crazy. Yeah, Shagarth, the dangerous prince of madness. Who you're dealing with? Uh, all I know is that your people need you to return. 
Yeah, he's Shagra the Dating Prince of Madness. Pardon me. What do you see? Something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. I mean, really. Here it is time. Before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. Does that doesn't mean you'll leave or not? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, <laughs> here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Can you go back to Shivering Isles? Complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Hmm. <laughs> Simple. Uh, okay, what's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes hmm. things infinitely more interesting. Dare to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the solitude botanical gardens. You said in Plagius' mind just now, didn't you? Where you truly are! Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and hmm. all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could use the Wabachak! Yeah, the Wabachak and Tedra Fighton. Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, there we are. Use the rubber jack to escape. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred is for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. Never should have come here. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Here we go. Oh, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. Bring the two into balance. Mm. Here we go. Wonderfully done. Oh, nice. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue eating every minute. Love that, right? Let's go to the next one. Oh, good choice! Mm. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. Oh. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see. Pelagius' mother was, hmm. well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. Hmm. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. No one wielded cleaver on her. She wielded cleaver and make people afraid. Forget that part right now. <laughs> oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that the danger could come from anywhere, at any time. Delivered. I'm pretty sure you aim for these guys, aren't you? Check the beer is simple, you simple thing. Use your lava jump to defeat the enemy. But they do the same. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. Hmm. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe. Which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Yeah. Shagraph is just something else. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. 
You'll find his terrors easy to defend, but persistent. Leary for me, what the hell, man? Why are they going after me? I'm taking damage. I'm gonna save in case I die. Come on, I'll play match that. Dragon Priest. Well, now there that's we go. something to throw about. That's something to say. Something about. You're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. All right, let's go talk to Shiga off. He's Shiga off. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. I've done it. I fixed Pelagius' mind. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. <laughs> ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you have actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, <laughs> congratulations. You're free to go. <laughs> I have been known to change my mind. So, Go, really. Pelagius Septim the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble has to we get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage! Now where did I leave my luggage? There you are, reunited. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I found in the Shivering Isles. Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you in. As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the wobble jack. Nice. As a symbol of my... I'll just take it out. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can hmm. share a strawberry tart. Ah, ta -ta. Bye, Shaker off. I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate stick. There we go. I should have the rubber jack now, shouldn't I? Yes, I do, yeah. Freaking sweet. Oh, yeah, Lydia, Lydia I met Shager up. Don't ask anything more. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. I'm gonna say back to Gallimon Lee, whatever his name is. I set out.
Welcome to the center of the world, mm. or at least my brother, Eric. Have you met my dear brother, Eriker? The man's as trustworthy as a Khajiit gold mine. So, so Eriker is your brother? Yes, my older brother, and the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. <laughs> We'll speak again later, if we must. Hmm. Ah, I see you have the wine. Hmm. Hand it over, and we'll talk. I have the firebrand wine. Good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. You trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman oh. who wanted me to act as the broker. Well, it was a pleasure, thank you. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erangoth for the estate. I brought him the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Did you hear what she, why she was doing this? Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry. And it was being directed at Mercer Frey. Not set in a name or anything? In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. I think you're lying to me. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. <laughs> Our hero, <sighs> I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn. That song is legendary. With a voice wielding power of the ancient North. <laughs> oh, I'm still wearing that. <laughs> Lydia, be quiet. Alright then, I think I think I'm going to go to the um, the Empire, the uh, East the East Empire tra train place. Ten million years later.
Oh Gott, ich muss... Oh, so it's sort of just really iconic with the archway. That's to be said. We should join your uh, Hey, man. How come he doesn't even notice me what I'm doing? <laughs> Are you serious? <coughs> Back! I fucking love that. Okay, he knows I'm here, right? Better go. Bloody bastard. What's he freaking doing? No, this is bloody. And you should I should do something like this would bloody happen. Oh, here we are. It will keep its hands to itself, yes? <laughs> oh, you're still you're still here after this time. Oh, it's not taking like school yet. Right then, oh yeah, he's going in here. I need to get ready to fight. Because I know you give Joey to fight people in there, right? Let's get in there. There we go. Probably get a huge bounty doing this as well. That's what happened, right? I love that once again. Um Um, something you're enchanting. Uh, get this.
<sighs> no. Nice work video. There we go. Yeah. I'm um, Jimmy, my son got. She's coming, she's coming back. Oh, go, 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 back, 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 back. What on earth is this guy doing? Here we are, let's get here. Brian Water Grotto. New soldier. And we were getting the soldiers you gave me was already full. All right, that's fine. Oh. Lydia, get out of the way. Come on, let's go. No. 
You shouldn't, you shouldn't ask for mercy if you don't give it, you know? Time to get lost, friend. Another is doing a lot of damage to me, like good lord. Oh, that looks very nice. Oh, well, I didn't notice you there. Well, there's a piece of my light armor, so I'm guessing there's that. Where's the bastard anyway? He's over there, right? Come on, in there. Oh, There's a lot of valuable. I mean, how much? Right, okay, there's a lot of valuable stuff here, but... Is there a key, is there a key nearby? I mean... You there. Now there's no need to do anything rash. Well, you're lucky the guild needs you alive. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. Tell me first, then I'll decide. Alright, alright. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. You say that name like I should know it. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Oh. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her? Help. No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Where's Carlia now? I don't know. But I asked her where she was going. She just muttered. Where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Alright, fine, but what about a key? Do you have the do you have the key, man? I I kinda wanna get in these chests, but Actually those bandits those bandits had the keys on them, maybe. I no, I didn't even search them or anything. There's one of them. What about the others? I don't even fancy wasting my lockpicks. I don't think it'll be worth it. You needed to know more. 
I'm sure screw I might as well try at least. There we go. Wow, only 10? I'm rolling in it. Wow. Okay, right, nothing is on that side. Yeah, masses really are that brutal. Up in hell. God's sake. There we go. How many more? I'll get that to Lydia. Hey Lydia, come here. Right I need you. your stuff of you. How can I serve you, my thing? Let's get out of here. No, a lot of gold out of it at least, or a decent amount of it. Let's get out of it. Go, 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 go. Let's get back to the fuse gun, so, and uh, then I'll wrap the episode up there. Wait, oh, this is way. Come on. Oh, God, that I didn't say I had a bounty from that, but I don't know. I'm good, right? Hopefully, thank God for that. Right, let's get back to the Fuse Guild.
got a minute? I wanted to say something. Hmm? I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. Hmm? I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can oh, talk thank to you. Right. Be seen. What did you need? I can't tell him about that. I right, Mercer. Next we meet Gullamai, give up any yes, Kalaya. He said Golden Glow was purchased by a Kalaya. No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Gullamai's... Gullamly also told me she was a murderer. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Why she returned? Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched mm. each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. Only we knew where she was. Uh, Gullamly also said, she said, or Gullamly told me that she said where they am began. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. Mm hmm. We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? Yes, I'm going with you. Together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Nice. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Let's do it. How much? Oh, it's a piece of armor. Uh, what much gold do you mean? You didn't give me anything, man. Oh, well, she's right. Anyway, that is all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Skyrim. I'll see you all next one. The Red Zeno out. Bye, guys.